you make of tonight's game? Another point? Yeah, yeah. I think it was, to be honest, a mirror image of um, of the Kingborough game. We, you know, we made it difficult um, for them to go forward easily and, and obviously one-on-one -on -one they got some quality players and I knew we had a lot more firepower on the bench today. Uh, we had to use Hedge early because <coughs> uh, Palmer's a bit crook. He had a bit of a vomit half-time and um, Hedge obviously wants to play up front but that happens. Um, another injury to Ali but I think um, you know, with Billy and, 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 and young Cody coming off the bench I think we were frightfully unlucky not to you know, Jake Stewart at the end there and Cody a couple of times getting in and maybe getting dragged back, maybe not, I don't know, I'd have to watch it again, but, um, yeah. You said a couple of weeks ago that your team needed to execute the game plan yeah. to be any chance. Do you uh, think uh, they've done that tonight? Well, I think, I think they've done it twice now, so, um, you know, as we, uh, as we get more comfortable and progress as a unit and we have the same guys each week, then you can start, you know, getting plan C, D and E, so... Uh, which will give us much more, dim much more dimensions to our game rather than you know the one or two that we got at the moment. Would you say that you're the league bogey team? Well, yeah. for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate, I think <laughs> they come in thinking that well, you started off the season a bit dodgy, and now definitely you've definitely progressed. Well, it happened. Yeah, I mean, I think. I'd love to know how many of the starting 11 tonight played in those first two games. So, um, you know, having everyone available and fit and training and that makes a massive difference. Um, you know, and when the players buy into the to the structures and all that that you want to put in place, makes a massive difference and morale and all that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, again, you know, 10 minutes to go is when we want to win the game and uh, we certainly had chances to do it. Was it a frustrating last 10 minutes? Oh, it was weird. Actually, it was one of the... I haven't had a game that exciting for a while. Um, obviously, if you get pumped a lot, that happens. Um, but, you know, the, the last three games of last year, we had two wins and a draw. Um, and then uh, we started off the year poor, and now we're back into that, you know, being hard to knock down, hard to beat. Um, and that's all you can ask, you know, if you don't have million dollar players, um, you need it to be a team effort. And I think that's what's going to win us games of football is we're just, um, what, 14, 15 blokes all on the same page, all want the same thing. You're playing Sam Rybell up forward now. <laughs> is there a reason? Oh, well, to be honest, uh, sometimes people take opportunities when they arise, whether it be people away or injured. And, and, he, and he did that against Kingborough and this week we had you know, Billy and Hedgie back in, but he deserved to keep his spot. And I thought he was excellent again. And then, obviously, second half, he had to drop in and uh, do a job on, on one of the forwards that we're looking, you know, when we're one-on-one we're -on -one at the back for the whole first half, and that was really killing us. So, um, and I, you know, they got a lot of the ball again, but I, I don't, didn't look very dangerous. Didn't have any, you know, again, we have more one-on-ones with the keeper than they do. So they're the ones we have to execute to win games. Disappointed to only come away with a point from that one? Yeah, we are disappointed. We, um... Had a majority of the ball and um, just couldn't put it away. Um, sorry, um, where, um, where did Clarence, I guess, um, how did they stop you? Well, I thought they defended really well. They got numbers behind the ball. They, um, uh, they were happy to just sit back and um, defend and try to hold us out. And they were obviously playing for a draw today and they got the result that they were after. It wasn't the result that we were after. Um, we left two at the back in the last 20 minutes and pushed everyone up and um, unfortunately still wasn't good enough. Um, and they could have almost um, pinched it at the end as well. Yeah, um, well, when you, we always go for the win, okay, regardless of what, a point for us wasn't good enough today. We pushed bodies forward, took that chance and if they'd pinched it, they could have pinched it. But we were confident we had some speed at the back that if, if they caught us on the, on the break, that... Um, we would be good enough to hold them out. Did you, did you just not click in the final third today? Is that how you thought? Look, I thought Clarence defended really well. Like I said, they got numbers behind the ball. We had a lot of opportunities. Their keeper um, pulled off some great saves and we missed a few sitters. So any other day we could have had three or four. Was it a frustrating last 10 minutes? Really frustrating. It was a last, frustrating last 45 for us. Um, we... 
set very high expectations for ourselves as a team and um, we didn't get the result today and didn't uh, play as well as we know we can. And like I said, the guys put everything in, they got shots on target. Um, at the end of the day, we can't ask for more than that. Did you take Clarence for granted no. after their first couple of big, I guess, thrashings at the start of the year and now they've had a, this is their second draw? No, the we um, wouldn't, after uh, we lost to Kingborough a few weeks back, we don't take anyone for granted. Um, we treat every team um, as an even, e equal team and um, they were equal to us today. We can only focus on who we play on the day, and I think we play Lonnie City next week, so it should be an interesting, um, interesting game. Like I said, I know that we can play better than we did today, and our boys know that they can play better. Um, but like you said, it makes it an, an interesting proposition for next week's game.